Right now, it's time for a quick look at the top stories making headlines. Encounters underway at Vanigam Bala area of North Kashmir's Baramula district. The gunfight started after a joint team of police and security forces received inputs about the presence of terrorists in the area. The security forces have cordoned off the area. Two terrorists are believed to be trapped. The Karnataka government has transferred the case of Praveen Netaru to NIA. Deputy Commissioner Rajendra KV has directed the urban local bodies and Gram Panchayats in Dakshin Kannada district to keep all the shops and business establishments shut from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. till August 1st. Emergency services, hospitals, medical shops will be exempt from the order and can function normally. Earlier, the police had arrested two men who have been sent to 14 days of judicial custody. <laughs> Kerala border na sampurna magi CC cameras matu checkpoints ko naak poto kadali pramukh wajir matka yalla yene no sampar kai kerala rajya kala matu naak poto matu vishesh wajir matka sensitive board kadali police temporary camp sanna matu poto this government miserably failed in maintaining land order. See, there is no intelligence. See, what is that intelligence department is doing? It is directly under the control of the chief minister. Intelligence is failed. Home department is failed miserably. The government is responsible for the death of Parsha and uh, Pravi. Torrential rains have led to some daring rescue operations in Madhya Pradesh. Take a look. This tractor was crossing a bridge in Betul, but got submerged in flood water. Some locals saw the plight of the tractor driver and threw a rope towards him. He managed to grab it and was pulled to safety. In Sehor, six laborers were trapped in rising flood water. A mammoth rescue operation lasting hours was launched to bring them to safer ground. A bridge in Sihor collapsed due to heavy rains, leaving several trucks and other vehicles stranded. Former West Bengal Minister Porto Chatterjee has said that he is a victim of conspiracy and also questioned the party's move to sack him. He said that the move will affect the investigation. Meanwhile, Partha's close aide, Orpita Mukherjee, has alleged that Partha's men had access to a flat and that they might have put the cash there. As of now, ED has discovered a list of 10 luxury flats owned by Orpita in Kolkata and four of her cars have now gone missing. So, Sarasar, cash rakhne ke iljam mein fase hui hai. हमको सब शर्मिंदा कर दिया, हमारा पार्टी को बदनाम कर दिया। हम चाहते हैं पूरा जांच हो और उसको सही साजा मिले। एक तो एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट के हाथ में है और बाकी कोर्ट का हाथ में है। तो वो ढूंढ के निकले हम लोग तो कुछ कर नहीं सकते। ये तो सब लोग का मालूम है। पार्थो चटर्जी का जो सिंडिकेट रैकेट ये ममता जी का इंस्ट्रक्शन में चल रही थी स्वाभाविक रूप में ये इतना रुपया 75,000 रिक्रूटमेंट का करोड़ ऑफ हंड्रेड करोड़ ऑफ रुपया ये रुपया पार्थो चटर्जी ममता जी का डायरेक्शन में कलेक्शन किया ये टीएमसी का अपनी जो एजेंडा है करप्शन एजेंडा उसका माफी ये काम हो रहा है in Jammu and Kashmir's Kathua district, dozens have been left stranded due to incessant trains. This group was stuck beside a river. A team of SDRF personnel tried to reach them on a boat. The river was flowing with such force that the ropes were tied to the rescue boat to prevent it from being swept away. The SDRF personnel managed to reach the group and brought them to safety. Four women got stuck in a field due to rising flood waters. But the Jammu and Kashmir police and a team of SDRF personnel carried out a daring rescue operation and successfully brought them out. One person was seen getting washed away while crossing a flooded road. After getting alerted by locals, police and SDRF personnel rushed to the site to rescue him. The Assam police has arrested 11 people in Assam's Barpeta district. The accused are allegedly connected to Islamic fundamentalist organizations having links with global terror outfits such as Al-Qaeda and Ansarullah Bangla team. 
They've been booked under provisions of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Police actually came here and they searched for the whole place from where they found some objectionable materials as far as said by the Assam police officials and then now the interrogation scene is on. Almost 100 students were studying in the madrasa and earlier when we tried to, I'm trying to show you the visuals of the madrasa, you know, it has now been closed down but I'm trying to show you the visuals that this is the place where the Assam police has alleged that a certain uh, preachings uh, to inculcate the sense of jihad was uh, given. Congress leader Adiranjan Chaudhary has written an apology to President Draupadi Murmu over his Rashtrapatni remark which caused a political furor in the country. In a letter addressed to the President, the Congress leader expressed his regret and said that he has the highest regard for the President. Yesterday we saw cars floating in the middle of a flooded market in Jodhpur. Today people are wading through waist-deep waters. People waded through waist deep water just to get their hands on essential items. So, basic is the basic needs the basic When municipal authorities arrived at the spot to take stock of the situation, they were confronted by angry locals. The locals claim that no help has come their way. Heavy waterlogging has been reported across Jodhpur, forcing many to flee their homes. When this temple got flooded, the priest and his family were rescued with the help of a tractor. The EDS Saman Casino owners Chikoti Praveen Kumar and Madhav Reddy for questioning in connection with the case of Foreign Exchange Management Act violation. Kumar has been accused of organizing gambling operations in neighboring countries for high-profile VIPs. Maharashtra Governor Bhagat Singh Koshari has stoked a massive debate saying Mumbai will not remain the same if Gujaratis and Rajasthanis are sent back from the city. This comes in the backdrop of Marathi Manus and Marathi Asmita debate. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shiv Sena MP Sanjay Raut has already reacted to Koshyari's remark. Raut has said that Chief Minister Eknath Shinde should condemn the governor's statement as this is an insulting insult to hard-working Marathi people. A horrific accident in Chimbla involving a speeding truck was caught on camera to clip. At first glance, it looks like any other day on this busy road in Shimla. But suddenly, a speeding truck comes out of nowhere. The truck driver lost all control, swerved right and rammed into a car. The impact was so strong that other vehicles on the road were also caught in the collision. And this boundary wall of a building was smashed. Bystanders watching the accident in horror rushed to pull people out of the wrecked vehicles. Further investigation revealed that the truck driver lost control after the brakes failed. After Anil Parab, another former MBA minister under ED and Environment Ministry scanner, senior Congress leader Aslam Sheikh has been allegedly illegally operating film studios in Mud Island, which is his constituency, by flouting CRZ norms. Aslam Sheikh. A senior Congress minister in MBA government found involved in unauthorized construction of more than two dozen film studios on the seashore in CRZ, no development zone. Hundreds of commercial establishments have come up in last 2030 months. Gopal Shetty, local MP, and myself have demanded full fledged investigation. Union Home Minister Amit Shah will today address the National Conference on Drug Traffic and National Security in Chandigarh. The Chief Ministers of Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and Punjab along with the Administrator of Chandigarh will be present at the conference. The Chief of the Anti-Narcotics Task Force of respective states will also attend the conference. Four cattle smugglers were arrested in Gurugram after a dramatic chase. 
A group of cow vigilantes got a tip-off that the accused were transporting the cattle to slaughterhouses. The cattle were being smuggled in a truck and a pickup vehicle. 29 cows were being taken to Nu from Sonipat. That's when the vigilantes started chasing the smugglers on the Kundli Manesar Palwal Expressway in Gurugram in the wee hours of Thursday. The cow smugglers sped up their vehicle when the vigilantes signaled to stop them. But the cow vigilantes managed to stop the accused and overpower them. The cow smugglers were handed over to the police who arrested them. BJP National President JP Nadda will visit Patna today to attend a party conclave. State President Sanjay Jaiswal and co in charge for Bihar Harish Trivedi said at a joint press conference that Nanda will be setting the tone of the inaugural day on July 30th. Incessant rains and cloudbursts have triggered a lot of destruction in Himachal Pradesh. Take a look. In Kullu, a cloudburst triggered a landslide which led to debris entering half a dozen houses. This video, shot by one of the locals, shows slush approaching the houses at high speed. The debris has caused massive damage to fields and roads behind the houses. All houses in the area have been vacated as a precautionary measure. Due to heavy rains in Kullu district, traffic was disrupted at several places and debris from landslides fell on the roads. The Public Works Department began road restoration work but unending traffic jams were also witnessed. The Med Department has issued an orange alert as rains continue to lash Himachal Pradesh. Amit Uproar and the LG recommending a CIB probe over the AAP government's new excess policy in Delhi. Sources now tell Sin News 18 that the old excess policy could be implemented in the capital for six months. भारतीय जनता पार्टी शुरू से कहती आ रही है कि ये नई वाली पॉलिसी जो है उस पर भ्रष्टाचार हुआ है और इस भ्रष्टाचार के आपने इस अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब ने क्या किया पैसे इकट्ठे करे भ्रष्टाचार किया उसको उस पैसे को पंजाब और अन्य राज्यों के चुनावों में यूज किया और जब अब सर पे बात आ गई भारतीय जनता पार्टी इसका विरोध कर रही थी और सबूत सामने आने लगे थे कि भ्रष्टाचार हुआ तो ये वापस पुरानी पॉलिसी पर चले a police constable has been suspended after he did this at the Jabalpur railway station. The constable is seen mercilessly kicking and punching an old man. He then drags the old man by his legs and holds him above the train tracks. He then continues to stomp on the helpless victim. What's even more shocking is that people in the station stop to see the brutal assault. But no one stopped and intervened. Even this video appears to have taken from inside a train. While it's unclear what triggered the cop to assault the elderly man like this, after this video went viral, he has been suspended. Delhi has reported 1,245 fresh COVID cases in the last 24 hours with one death. The positivity rate now stands at 7.36%. Maximum temperature came down to notches below the normal to settle at 32.2 degrees Celsius as several parts of the national capital received right rainfall on Friday. Moreover, the Met Department has said that the city will witness more rainfall on Saturday as well. A woman was assaulted and molested at a toll plaza on the Gurugram Sona Road. The woman was travelling in a car with her family. They stopped at the toll plaza where the women asked the employees to remove the barriers so they could pass. When nothing was done, the woman got out of the car and started removing the barrier herself. Suddenly, one of the toll plaza bouncers came running and jumped on the bonnet of the car, badly denting it. The bouncer then started violently punching the woman. When her husband got out of the car to intervene, he was assaulted as well. Others tried to stop the brutal assault but the toll plaza worker continued to manhandle the woman. After this video went viral, the Gurugram police arrested three bouncers in connection with the incident. Actress Janvi Kapoor has opened up on Ranveer Singh's nude photo shoot and supported him. During an event, the actress was asked about her views on the controversy. She said that actors should not be penalised for their artistic freedom.
several students of the University of Michigan Medical School staged a walkout at the school's white coat ceremony. This happened after an anti-abortion doctor took to the stage as the event's keynote speaker. The now viral video shows students getting up and leaving the auditorium as soon as the anti-abortion doctor started to speak. A dangerous stunt done purely for the cameras went horribly wrong. One Amritsar resident tried to perform a stunt while driving recklessly on National Highway 5 in Himachal Pradesh's Solan district. The driver was speeding and had one of the front doors of the car open. But after taking a few dangerous turns, the driver lost control of the vehicle and hit the divider. The car smashed into a railing on the side of the road before coming to a halt. The driver was miraculously unhurt, though the car was quite badly damaged. The whole stunt gone wrong was recorded by another person driving behind the car. All of the victims injured in May's deadly school shooting in Uvalde, Texas are now out of the hospital. University Health posted on Twitter that the final patient in the shooting was released on Friday. A dramatic video shows a giant sandstorm dripping through China's northwest region. The powerful sandstorm extended to the sky across the desert landscape, heading towards motorists caught in its path. According to some reports, the sandstorm lasted for about four hours and caused traffic disruptions. Thankfully, no casualties were reported as a result of this sandstorm. A video showing a fiery stream of lava flowing through Kilua, which is one of the five volcanoes that form Hawaii Island, has gone viral on social media. Kilua is also considered to be one of the most active volcanoes in the region. The volcano's most recent and ongoing eruption began in September 2021. In Jammu, a group of school students got stranded in floodwaters following incessant rains. Heavy rains triggered waterlogging in many parts of Jammu. The floodwaters entered this government school in Udewala and caused panic. The students were trapped in their classrooms for hours as the water levels continued to rise due to non-stop rains. Finally, after an agonizing wait, the children were pulled out of the flooded classrooms by some locals. This is quite a rare occurrence. UAE was left flooded after heavy rains. Viral videos show past cars submerged and water entering shops. The downpour resulted in flash floods in part of the UAE, damaging houses and washing away vehicles. Military vehicles were deployed to rescue people from the affected areas. Nearly 4,000 people have been moved to shelters. A rare thunderstorm hit Las Vegas, triggering flash floods. Videos on social media show water pouring into Vegas' biggest attraction, casinos. The iconic Caesars Palace was badly hit. The ceiling was not able to contain the water, which was pouring onto carpets. Several parking lots and the airport was also flooded. Hyderabad was founded nearly by 100 meter. Hyderabad was founded by nearly 100 millimeter rains in just two hours and the results were catastrophic. Hyderabad's historic Musa Rambag Bridge was closed due to heavy flow of rainwater in the Musi River. Barricades were put up to prevent the entry of any vehicles on the bridge and people were advised to take alternate routes. This road junction has definitely been cut off because of the flood waters, but authorities say that this is going to take at least another day for the water to clear off the bridge. One biker got stuck in the middle of the Himayat Sagar service road bridge due to overflowing flood waters. He clung onto the railing on the side of the bridge as knee-deep water flew rapidly across the bridge. Soon after, traffic police personnel arrived in a recovery van to rescue the biker. The team tied a chain to the bike and helped the man hop onto the van. With heavy rains predicted in Hyderabad for the next three days, residents have been advised against stepping out unless absolutely necessary. There was a big crash at the Tour de France fans. One of the cyclists, Mavi Garcia, was hit by her own team car late in stage four of the competition. The Spaniard had already suffered two punctures and was chasing back to the main bunch when her own UAE team ADQ car struck her from behind. Garcia managed to remount and finish the stage. Indian captain Rohit Sharma's half-century and blistering knock by Dinesh Karthik helped India beat West Indies by 68 runs in the first T20 match. India scored 190 runs in 20 overs. In reply, the Windies could only manage 122 runs. India are now 1-0 up in the five-match series. 
Months after Chris Rock and Will Smith made headlines at the 94th Academy Awards for the slap kit, Will Smith has apologized to the comedian in an extensive Instagram video. He revealed in the video that he reached out to Chris Rock, but the comedian is not ready to talk yet. Amid a severe heat wave, wildfires are raging in Europe and America. A destructive wildfire near Yosemite National Park is burning out of control. It has grown into one of California's biggest blazes of the year. Thousands of residents were ordered to evacuate the area. Nearly 2,000 firefighters are battling the blaze, but the sweltering heat is not helping matters. Firefighters from several countries have joined forces to battle a raging fire in the National Park in Czech Republic. The fire has spread to neighboring Germany. The fire has destroyed several homes and raised nearly 1,000 hectares of the National Park. A major fire continues to rage in southern Greece, burning homes and villages near ancient Olympia. Hot and dry conditions along with the high winds have triggered wildfires in several parts of Greece.